Hello guys, welcome, welcome to the channel today. So we're going to be doing another, another mod review today. Got a Mac truck similar. Let me uh, take a look at the Volvo, uh, this Volvo 660 mod. Now, I did use this in a live stream. Um, and we're going to talk about it at the end of the stream. Let's do this. I gotta get so home we're going to show you the truck. Let's go road. We had 360 miles on this trip. Hope everyone's doing well. I do appreciate everyone that came out and watched the stream last night. So we're hauling some wine down to Bakersfield. Yeah, there is another 660 mod out there for the Volvo. We're going to take a look at that truck too uh, a little bit later. Go straight on. That's right. We're getting ready to turn left. I like that house that looked like it. I guess that's a house. Okay, what's going on up here? Maybe a light up here. So, uh, so all in all with the truck, um, this is not the uh, right interior for the truck. It does not have a Volvo steering wheel. Uh, the outside looks very well. It looks very good on the outside. I think it needs a little bit more work on the inside of the truck, but you know, it, it is a, it is a, a pretty decent mod. And it needs more engine options. Uh, most definitely you need more engine options. I do not see too many of these uh, trucks out there that are uh, these uh, Volvo mods that doesn't come with Volvo engines. And this does not have any Volvo engines, which is kind of strange. Are no bubble transmissions. Go straight on. That's right. a little bit off too I think and the replacement the placement of the mirrors just uh, one of rainy drives you know Like the rain just moved out. Well, 
I think we may have spoke too soon. The engine sound is not too bad for Detroit diesel sound. I can get a thumbnail right up here. We'll go ahead and get a thumbnail. Kind of go up like this, bring it up up a little bit, get it kind of close to the truck, uh, a little bit. Oh, that, that don't look too bad. What do you think? I think we can work for that. There we go. Got our thumbnail. Kind of being quiet right now, guys. Enjoying the drive. We have 276 miles to go.
Daybreak is okay. It's you know it's not the, but but you are looking at, at a Detroit Diesel. Um, Around 241 miles left. Avenue. I had an uh, accident over there. I like a car on fire. Keep right and then exit right. Kinda hear that turbo though a little bit when it's changing gears. We had to bright so that truck's like, hey man, you blinded me. Can't you see. Alright man. We got 183 miles to go.
straight on. That's right. Mirrors are garbage on the trunk. Let's see. You see better out of a small mirror. Hundred and forty four miles ago. Had to scale yet? I don't know. We may have two on this down here. I haven't had way yet. straight on. That's right. So right now, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm using uh, Jazzy Cat's mods, his traffic mods, and I'm using a traffic mod also. Um, it's not doing too bad. We, we still get a little bit of a lag, but it, it does that without the mods, those mods in, so... And I had a comment last night of uh, not, don't run mods. Well, I mean, the, the, the mods make the game better with trailers and engine sounds and stuff like that. That's what makes the game better than what it is. It's a great game anyways, but it makes it better when you have a little bit more realistic engine sounds and a little bit more traffic and stuff like that.
I got another mod review coming up. Uh, gonna be doing very soon. And I got another. I got a real company run I'm gonna be uh, doing. I've got to get this uh, paint job for that. We're gonna do a real company run. That's coming up. Try to race the bus. Again, you learning. We have 52 miles to go. Go straight on. That's right. Don't you pull out that in your BMW? Just about, I think y'all dropped it. Right.
turn right and then turn left. See if we can try and turn it this way. Now let me get, kind of get it lined up and then we'll go back in the cab. Take a look at where I'm at here. Try to stay in the cab as much as we can here. Heating a little bit. So let's see if we can pull up. Get over this way a little bit. We're gonna turn it a little bit sharper. We need to start kind of cutting it now, to be honest with you. Gotta start cutting. Back a little bit farther from where I have to go over some. Alright, let's pull up.
All right, here we go. All right, so we drove exit. We drove 360 miles. Took us eight hours and 30, 37 minutes to get here. We've seen 49.1 gallon of fuel. So we're gonna do like we do with every uh, modded truck video that we done. Modded truck uh, review. Want to check out the truck here? We go into Volvo. All right, so truck comes with uh, four cab options. Come for the day cab. It comes for the ES cab, which is kind of like a flat top version of the truck, I would say, and a shorter sleeper. They come for the T cab. They're like another flat top version. They made a little bit smaller. They come for the TES cab, which is the one that we were running. Uh, chassis comes with a, a 196 single chassis, a WIA Classic. We'll show you, which is that right there. Then you have a, uh, a 196, 196, I'm sorry, 195 WIA Classic, which is this right here, which means it gives you your two, two axle. You have a 220 inch, a little bit longer, your Classic chassis, like that. And then you have um, your single for the chassis. This is where it gets kind of strange about engines for the truck. It has no it has no Volvo engines at all. It starts with a Detroit a Cummins diesel, a N14 535, five, uh, 435 horsepower, and goes to a Cat 346E 550 with 550 horsepower. Um, that's all it has. It has one uh, one Detroit diesel. No, uh, no, it has uh, two Detroit diesels. And everything else is um, Cat or Cummins, which are good engines, but it's kind of weird not to have a Volvo engine for a Volvo truck. Transmissions, you have all Eaton Fullers. 10-speed. Uh, There's a 9-speed. Couple 9-speed. Here's your, your ratio. Ratio is not, uh, not very low at all. Here's a, your differential here is a 411. That's a good, good one for a 10-speed. Here's some 13 speeds, 15 speed, there's a 15 speed. Then you have your 18 speed, no, none with a retarder, it's all just 18 speed, so. Alright, so here's your interior of the truck. So, uh, the dash can't, the dash here for this truck is the same as what you would use in the, uh, white that we run, not too long ago. So, see so you have blue, blue interior. Uh, they call it blue leather. Brown leather, gray leather, red. Then you change your dash area here, and you do the same thing. Colors, you have multiple different colors here. You have some uh, pre made colors that come with the truck. All this works. That's a Texas uh, style. Custom colors. Dragon fruit, which I don't know what that is. Orange. Or you have your custom metallic colors. All this works. You can see where it changes. You can see the changing it a little bit. So it does work. Dragon fruit metallic. You see where that works, and then trademark, trademark, bronze metallic. All that works like it should. There's a few more paint jobs for the truck. That's actually not bad. Our roadway, I didn't see that one. 
they actually did use trucks like that, so that would be uh, pretty accurate. So your um, options, you have quite a few. You have um, your oversized load banner. You have um, two bumpers, chrome and standard. I think that's a flap, yeah. Plastic flaps. You have your mirrors, you have which is um, one mirror option. Your hood mirrors, your flags on the side. You can put uh, cabin lights up here. On the... now, your cabin lights will probably be different because I have some other trucks installed, so all that's gonna be different. But you do have quite a few little options here when it comes to um, this type of stuff for the truck. It looks for really, uh, it works really well. And that is something that's happened right there. There's no gas tank there for the 50 gallon polished aluminum 50 gallon tank. There's no gas tank. This is your um, exhaust for the truck. So you have plenty of options for the truck. All right, here's your inside. You have um, a cup holder. The truck it, it does support the uh, SCS uh, accessories pack, cabin accessories pack. It does support that, so you do have that option. You put a CV here, you see the mount for the CV, which is a, a plus. So all in all, um, the outside of the truck looks really well. I think the, the truck is done very well on the outside. I think the interior needs a little bit of work. There's still some things that need to be done to the truck that, uh, that will kind of bring it up to some of these other ones out here. There is some other 660 mods out there that it's kind of going against right now, and I think it's losing to that. Um, it needs some more engine options, most definitely, and a little bit better transmission options. It needs... Um, I think it needs some more. It needs to add some Volvo engines to it and some Volvo transmissions. That would help it in the long run, and try to f and try to do a, a better dash here for the truck. But uh, this, um, but other than that, you know, it's a good truck. It's, it's uh, it runs pretty good. So that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. I want to get into a mod review with this Volvo. Um, there is another one out there we're going to take a look at uh, a little bit later. Uh, another Volvo v &N. This is another 660 model that has come out. We're going to be taking a look at that one too. Let me know what you think about the truck. Uh, I think it needs some work myself. And uh, thank you for everyone for subscribing to the channel. Everyone's been um, watching the live streams and coming catching out all the live streams and subscribing. It means a lot. Hope you enjoy the content. If you like the, the video, don't get subscribed and hit the like button. And we'll see you in the next video.